Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, we had finally defeated Greymon. Don't have that looming over our head anymore. As well as added a uh, Bakemon to our today. And now he's just kind of floating around the place. And we were about to check out what it is that the arena lobby is all about. I'm kind of hoping it's a way to make some fast money. Because, um, money would be a great thing right about now. Oh, Darius, Monty, you came. Look at this great File City Arena. Cool, huh? Soon contestants and fans will fill this place up. You will also bring joy to the fans, right? They'll prepare money and prizes for tournament winners. You've got nothing to lose. For details on the tournament, check out the machine there. This machine here? What machine where? Oh, this machine? The giant freaking Digivice? <laughs> Arena information. Anyone can join a grade tournament. It's held a lot, but a higher generation Digimon should not enter lower level tournaments. Your Digimon div digivolves between registration and tournament. He can't compete. Oh, well, that's kind of ass. Uh, special tournaments. Uh, set contestant rules, and they aren't held often. If they aren't enough contestants in the city, it will not even be held. Same tournament is only held once or twice a year. Check schedule in advance. Number of championship wins. Okay. Uh, yes. Hey, you haven't registered, you know. Oh, I got... Oh, first let me... Let me put my Capitarium on sleep. I really... Really hope he does not suddenly heal over as I'm about to enter a freaking tournament. Seems happy. Nothing wrong. Glad you came. Do you want to enter the tournament? Yes. Hmm. Oh, okay. I think this is like what ones I can and can't enter. Champion Digimon, single match, three rounds, eight contestants. Qualifications? Eh, none. I'll give it a shot. Why not? We just saved. Come on, buddy. Tournaments tomorrow? Oh! That number's the day. Okay. Things are good to know. I just need to remember to actually come back tomorrow. I could just train. It's like five minutes of training, come back, be all like, hey, I'm ready to kick some arse. Huh. Or Betamon go. He was chilling in the fountain. Maybe where he is is dependent entirely upon the current prosperity of the city. Uh, give more tomorrow. It is tomorrow, ain't it? Oh, no, it's not. Shut up. Um, I guess I'll try to get his speed up to 400. About the only thing I think I can do. Should be like twelve more goes at this. Of course, now he's hungry. Here we go. No other problems. No fatigue. No need to go poo. Three hundred. So by tomorrow, I believe he means uh, next morning is when it at least starts. So it should be fine. Yeah, 
I'm hungry. That not enough to see. It's not enough to see them. Great. See, what sucks is that it, we're currently on the 14th day of his existence. I'm still hungry. So if he ends up suddenly kicking the bucket, I'm shite out of luck. I have to start once again. I just want to get you so as you've got high ass speed so that you might be able to digivolve. He's got to go poop. And he's fatigued. <sighs> Do not know how pissed off I'm going to be if he ends up dying at this exact moment. Seriously, I, I think most of the times that I've been playing this... The thing that has been driving me nuts the most is him getting fatigued. Oh, get out of the way, Sunomon. Five Box says that it gets tired as soon as I enter the cleric. I could push him a little bit. Oh, you're not freaking exhausted. You are hungry, though, so. Ugh. Grab meat. Go back to Arena. Hope to God that he doesn't die in the middle of the process of walking back to the Arena. I might be getting salty. <laughs> That's just it. It's it's the circularity of the thing that's kind of driving me nuts. Which is usually all right. But in the last what? In the last um 3 or 4 episodes, all I've done so far is get a few other Digimon None of them really contribute that much to the city. Alright, I'm saving just in case losing of the arena makes it so as you actually, like, lose life. Because at the point that he is right now, if he loses a single life, he is going to lose that. He is just gonna straight up die. I'm also saving because I kind of want to see if the arena is not worth it. I mean, if I do the arena anyways, so whatever, but yeah, I don't know. I'm back and forth in my head. It's still early to enter. Wait until 10 o'clock. Like morning? 10 o'clock? What, what time? He's not exactly the most exact when it comes to instructions here. I didn't know that the number dictated a, the day, but now I do. Had I known that, I would have gone to the training hall instead. Bum, 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 bum. Not wasted like two in game hours trying to walk back and forth between places. Uh. Do 
entered in today's grade C tournament, right? Damn it. Too late. 400. Get him some rest at Centaur Clinic. clinic and... uh, if I hadn't wasted the time to run down to the goddamned arena, I probably could have made that without whatever. Miffed. That's where I am. I'm just miffed. My lucky does not have the requirements in order to digivolve anyways, and he's just gonna keel over as soon as I walk into the arena. Dun 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 dun. Digimon looks fine, except for his tiredness. Yeah, 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 you're tired. Come on, you got an arena to fight in. If I have him sleep now... Would it be too late to enter the arena? I'm gonna risk it. Saw it. I'm gonna risk it. Will the biscuit. And hope he doesn't keel over as soon as he wakes up. Because I had him train through one situation. Okay, cool. Let's me go in. The Digimon Digital Monsters Coliseum Open Tournament Grade C. I don't have to watch the other ones fight, do I? Wow, Sukaimon won against a freaking Jamojimon. Okay, Tyrannomon won against him. Yanmamon versus... I think that's a Raurumon. Araurumon. Raumon. Araurumon. That's a weird Digimon name. Urgh, look at them stats. I think I got this. Got more HP than me, but... I'm gonna guess I cannot... Yeah, I'm gonna guess I can't actually give him commands. You better actually get to heal between fights, though. Come on, you got this, buddy. Look at him. He's a punk. You're a champ. Champion. Yeah, it's like milliseconds of difference between speeds, but... Oh, yeah. Win! Seriously, he better get his MP back between fights. Because otherwise he's bummed. Neat. <laughs> okay, I won't lie. This is heckin' cute. Yanmamon. Oh, wow. How did you win the last fight? No, he does not gain back his... Um... So, might be a little boned. Oh. Buddy, do not be bullied by a freaking 8 bit Yanmamon, please. Of course. Come on, you got this. One more good hit, that's all you need, man. Okay, that was an attack. Dude. 
I know you have. Do you not have one attack? I thought I gave him something that was below... Oh, come on. The only way I'm going to be able to win this is with a finisher, and he's going to have so low HP. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. Finish him. 151 HP. God damn it. I can't win the next fight. I can't possibly win. That irritates me. Watch. He's gonna have full HP and full MP. Okay, I got back a little bit of HP and health. I say this from the bottom of my heart, Digimon World for PlayStation 1. Fuck it. Just holy shit, man. Oh, you you still take all the damage and whatnot from the last fight that you had, but your contender? Oh, they're full health. Maybe that's why no one uses the goddamn arena matches. Oh, just into me already. Because either you keep on kicking me and I try to finish your you twice and I still lose. Or you win by knockout. This is going to be my next 40 seconds of living, isn't it? Nope, nope. Less even. That's bullshit. If this actually gives me a life down, I'm going to reload. Because that is wholesale, 100% pure grade grass fed bullshit. Second place, 1000 bits, and a sirloin, so I guess something. Ah, uh, yes. Capitary Mon's final moments in life, losing to a freaking bullshit mechanic. I'm sorry, that will nag me to the end of my days. Oh, hey, here's this interesting fighting area arena that you get into going. You know what? Hold on. Sod it. Sorry about that, folks. I just. Mmm, that is such bullshit. Oh, hey, you don't get to replenish any of your MP or your HP, but your enemy does. Like, come on. The level of bullshittery that is to me is just overwhelming. So, if Kabuterimon is going to keel over, I'd rather he do so while we're trying to do something as opposed to just... Oh, here's a thousand bits and a sirloin. Just, mmm. It, it's, it's stuff like that that makes me not want to do a thing. 100%. Which sucks, because usually I really like the idea of, like, any arena thing. Like, it's usually the very first thing I would do in Oblivion, is my- I- especially if I make a... melee character, it's like, oh, hey! Freaking arena, let's go! So... I'm going to attempt to do... one thing. That's about it. 
That's, that's pretty much about where my ideas are at the moment. I'm just salty. Is this where I want to go? Yeah. In here. And through here. Like, even if he only lasts one more day, i just rather that he do something with that time. As opposed to... Sure did. Don't care. Alright, never mind. Just a, just a reminder that, oh yes, that pointless thing that you entered. Also, your Digimon dies. Again. <sighs> the part of me was also kind of hoping that there was a random chance that if I reloaded, that he might end up turning into a, a Digivolving instead. Uh, Alright, give me a moment while I look at the eggs again. You know what? Let's see how this goes. We'll go with a Tanemon. Well, a Yuramon into a Tanemon. And hopefully into something I really want, a Mon. Adorable. Ah, you may change the name Amanti if you want. I do not. We're all good. I won't lie. I'm actually a little bit peeved about, um... Just a little bit peeved about the whole thing. Oh, God damn it. See you tomorrow. Alright, give me a moment while I go searching up the Digimon I want him to turn into. Hmm. Not bad stuff, but definitely going to be a little aggravating. Just a little bit miffed. Like, it took me, what, 15 minutes to get through that battle? The game didn't even give me 5 minutes to get through where I wanted to go. Uh, bonus, bonus try if you want. Yes, I know. Alright, we'll power up this guy's pitch pay a lot, why don't we? Oh, wait. Well, it says. Yep. Just hunger? Just hunger. Have a giant meat. Heck it. Are you still hungry? No. Baby Digimon just don't, like, actually make any noise when they're not hungry, but they do need to poop. And sleep. Alright, I think I'm going to uh, try to beef up this little guy's defense first. Well, after putting him to bed. I guess there's just a lot of little things that kind of drive me nuts when it comes to this game. I don't know. I... There's a lot of quality of life stuff that I definitely prefer next order or even the redigitize where it's like, oh hey, this makes a lot more sense. Why don't they just I don't know. Why didn't they do this in the first place? Most notably stuff like, oh, putting all the training stuff in one situation. Even if your Digimon has to go all the way off to the other side of the village in order to take a poo. But 
fatigue is still a stupid mechanic in my mind. It really just breaks the flow of everything. So this is a tiny man. It's kind of adorable. And just as I had hoped, when they digivolve, they do not carry over the conditions that they had. Now again... I can't do it. I do still get hungry. Now again though, um... This is from what I'm reading from freaking guides a galore, which apparently no one's been able to say yes or no to in any situation. Here's three pieces, yay. Thirteenth day. Um... That while in training, which my Digimon currently is, the best thing to do is to have them focus on one thing of training, uh, one training regimented thing, and this is supposedly because when they're focusing on that one training regiment thing, uh, that thing's stat bonuses get better. Like, every ten times that it's done or something like that. Doesn't visually improve. It's just, it gets better. Like, okay, if you say so, internet. And he's got a poop. Digimon I'm going for, by the way, is Betamon. And I hope... That I can get it to become a Coelamon. The um, ancient fish Digimon that you saw we jump on top of, like, episode 2 or 3 of this series. I just really like that Digimon. I don't know. There's something about the super ancient fish that, that explicit some sort of joy in me. I don't quite get it. The theory that that sucker has been around for God knows how long. And most recently that they had uh, discovered that there are several variations of the Quella Quella Count. I think I'm saying the name right. God, I hope I'm saying the name right. I would love to actually do the bonus tries of this goddamn thing, but... Oh. They're tired? Midday? All right, if you say so. I did see that it stopped doing six points and started doing seven points, but I'm not sure whether or not that was because of the training or not. Hmm. All right. Still seems to be enjoying itself, getting punched in the face. And making sure that there's nothing else that requires of me at the moment. Up oh, there it is. Requires food. Have a giant meat. Get the weight on. So that you can become a Betamon. I don't know, the Betamons are... A lot of the in-training, or the rookie types, I really do like. Betamons are cool, Gizamon are neat. Am I remember that? Gizamon? The, um... Kind of frog, furry frog-looking ones with spines down their back? I think that's Gizamon. Either that's Gizamon, or the weird, like, monkey rabbit gray furred ones. Those ones might be Gizamon. I don't remember. A lot of them do have similar names, including some that just straight up have the same name, thanks to translation issues. <laughs> like Bearmon, and also Bearmon. Yes, that's a thing that happened. I think it was in the fourth series? All I know, all I remember is that it's in the third game where it's like, hey, this is a Bearmon. And I looked it up and I'm like, wait, 
There's another bear mon, ain't there? Okay, cool. Picasso. And that's a hundred defense, buddy. Hundred defense. You are going to be ridiculous when you first did evolve, you know that, right? Which I guess kind of makes sense for freaking Betamons. Betamons are just... They always did look like tough little buggers. Alright. Continue defense. <laughs> okay. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Uh, need more food? That's fine, that's fine. We got food. Um... You're within the weight. Of course, being within the weight for a Betamon is stupid easy. Oh, now you gotta poop. That's fine. Oh, he's got to poo! I want to get him to... Digivolve before too, too long. For this episode, anyways. Thank you, Talamon. Hey, little Talamon, Talami Banana. Sorry, it's been so. I've been so salty these last couple of episodes. It's mostly just be, been because. I don't know. I've been making progress, but at the same time, I feel like I've not been making progress. Kind of the same thing when it came to Azure Dreams. Like, I love the concept of the game, but there's moments where it's like, am I progressing? Is is this is this what I'm meant to be doing? Just dying over and 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 over again? Sadly, in some games' cases, the answer to that is yes. Just not a fun answer. Yeah, there he is. Look at this cool little bastard. <laughs> Why is my tamer level not going up? Okay, he is tired, so we'll go ahead and slip. Answer me. He's adorable. But yeah, I thought my tamer level should have been going up whenever I either A, digivolve and find a new Digimon, or B, um, well, besides digivolve and find a new Digimon, is just recruit other Digimon. I don't know. We'll see what the hell happens with that. But hey, I'm sitting on here with a Betamon. It's a cool little bugger. And, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get him to become a Quellamon soonish. Hopefully. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. Groggy, what the hell's gro- Oh, like, he's a morning person? Weird. Ah, it's just weird having a morning person Digimon. Yeah, some pretty good- pretty good moves that he can use, though. Especially the Electric Cloud. Yes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we're going to continue to train Betamon a little bit uh, before we attempt to do stuff to make it so as maybe I could upgrade this goddamned gym. So thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.